what's going on guys welcome back to another video today's video well we're not really doing much but working on a lot of uh trucks and cars and uh, we're doing some fun stuff over here i'll uh show you a little preview of the ram we're working on hey how you doing big lou good you what, we got any plans tonight maybe a cigar and a coffee okay sounds good sounds good the dodge over here is getting some uh nice fancy uh parts i see Efren, say what's up to youtube hey what's up man are you almost done? Almost ready. All ready right. Always. All right, guys. So some of the uh, parts are falling off this farm truck over here, our race uh, purpose truck only. Uh, but, you know, while we are here, I'll show you guys how to download uh, your AutoCal onto the truck. So first things first, it's very easy. It does come with directions. First things first, key on, go to the tuning tool right here and then again if you guys get confused just go back to the uh, directions it does come with it when you order it but go to the tuning tool and you want to go to program full right here press ok and then we are going to scroll down so we got to toggle down till you see CSP tune or single so he is getting a uh, CSP 5 switch so we want that because if well if you don't your switch will not work so, and also See, they don't even give you the option. That's what's nice. So you can't really mess up. It's kind of dummy proof. So we are here, CSP. Hit OK. It's going to ask you, it's checking right now the license. It's going to say, uh, if you would like to license the ECU now, press OK. I believe, or it's this step. I think it's this step right here, or the next step. So we'll give it a second here. Almost done. Now I should say licensing C ECU. There you go. License the ECU, yes. Are you sure? Yes. Oh, and here we go. Got some stuff uh, going crazy over here. And this is normal, guys. All your dash, everything will start wigging out like this, saying disabled, overheating, parking sensors off. All that is normal. And now it's going to tell you to unlock Yes, you want to unlock it, hit OK. Here it is, now it is erasing. And here you go, now we're flashing. Now this step, guys, usually takes anywhere between, I would say 10 to 13 minutes, uh, somewhere between there. So now we'll just uh, put it down here and we wait. Here's the switch we are going to be installing and which is kind of nice because now you do not have to wire it into the truck like you used to now it just plugs right into the obd2 and they still give you a uh, female end so you can plug stuff in there if you like if you have amp steps or stuff like that this is nice uh, like the lml uh, on my truck for an example you have to wire it um, inside and also on the rams you have to wire it up over here to get it to working on that other side over there. So this is a nice feature to add right here. Plug it in, CSP5 switch works, and you're done. We are going to confirm that once the truck is done getting flashed. Also guys, Big Lou over here is getting his uh, train horn. Congratulations, where's that train horn? Let's check this bad boy out. Woo! Horn blasters, baby! Yes sir. I like that, and you did the same kit as mine, right? With the uh, 480, I think a 485C compressor. Yeah, the big with, ones. With the five good. gallon tank. Yeah, they yeah you want the, they call it, uh, not continuous, what do they call it? I forgot, I forgot what they call it, guys. But I just supervise on any of the parts. I remember now, they call it constant duty compressor. That is the compressor that you guys want to get if you're using it to pump air and stuff like that. Okay, now uh, tell everybody what, uh, well, first of all, this is what, a BDS kit? Yeah, it's the BDS coilover <laughs> two and a half to three and a half inch kit. The coil what, what is it set to right now? Right now it's set to about three inches. Um, after I installed it, it softens up a little bit. It drops like half an inch a little bit uh, as I continue to like drive on it. But I've had it for about six or seven months um, and I just want to go higher. So maybe there's somebody out there lucky that can purchase it. Um, you know, we'll put the link down in the subscription the details down in the description no computer. problem yeah. what do you think about this kit overall overall it handles amazing you know okay I mean, now do you want to go with another bds kit or are you switching i think i'm going to switch to the cst just like yours honestly because okay you know they're a little pricey 
I got priced like seven or eight grand to do like the six and a half inch. And I don't want to go that high. I want to say like around like five or five and a half inches. Okay. But I overall, I recommend BDS. If you have the money and, you know, there's a smoking deal on this. So you're going to get rid of this kit? Yeah. All right, guys. So this kit is for sale. He's going to get rid of this BDS kit. But why? I mean, if people ask, why do you want to get rid of it? I just because just you don't want to spend the money on the yeah I don't, the bigger I'm not looking one. to spend the money on the the bigger uh, BDS kit and um, it's just a little too low for me. All my friends have lifted trucks. And I pull up yeah, he is. Push, I'm a shorty. He is the lowest one now, guys. He used to be. Uh, well, we all had leveling kits, yeah. and then uh, Martin, you guys know Mr. Alkalator, put some 37s when I had 35s on mine and was taller than me. Uh, so that's when I lifted mine, and uh, then he wanted to uh, lift his. Thing sounds like a Prius. Is that a Prius. Sounds like one. Yeah, and I'm trying to turn this into a like a show vehicle for my shop. Uh, oh. Vinyl works, so. Oh, what's it called? Viral Vinyl Works. It's in Pacific Beach. Oh, okay. There. You, so if you guys need any wrapping or Commercial any uh, printing or anything like that, you can get a hold of uh, Mr. Lou. I will put his link down in the description and his Instagram for you guys' his contact info if you guys are interested in that. And if you guys are interested in his uh, BDS kit, do you know a price that you want to get rid of this thing for? Looking to get rid of it for anywhere. What would you right. pay for the kit? Not, paid, not, install, not like with installation, just the kit. What would you pay for the kit? For the kit, I paid around 5200 or five grand. Okay, so yeah. five grand for the kit. What do you want to get rid of this kit for? I'm looking to get at least three or thirty-five hundred for it because I've only driven on it for six or seven months. And I was gonna say, how long have you had it? Less than a year, right? Yeah, way less than a year, and I don't even drive it every day. So make him an offer on this BDS kit if you guys are interested. And uh, well, uh, I guess we're gonna start his uh, horn blaster kit yeah. and a CST kit. Did you order your CST kit yet or no? Not yet. I'm gonna order it tomorrow. Tomorrow, okay. Once I get back into work. Okay, good, good, good. All right. What what happened here? What, the stuff just how how did this how did this stuff fall off? I just saw the stuff just all fell off that truck. Yeah. Somebody came to their senses. Wow, that's <laughs> that's weird. I don't know what happened there. And also, Lou here is uh, missing some stuff. And Lou, nice tip you got here, man. I like that. What kind of tip is that? It's the hex tip by Monster. Uh, Hitch, or monster, hit, monster hitches monster hitches yeah ah that's a serious tip you got there oh yeah i like a little, i like a little, we use it you know we're always on the gas so yeah yeah clearly i could yeah. see there's uh i think you need to take yours to the dealer too you have an issue uh with yours it's looking a little black yeah i definitely will i have faulty injectors oh yeah, okay i see i see okay all right all right uh what size tires you got on this thing anyways in case people are wondering cst on what What's the rim and what's the uh, tire size? Well, it's a 20 inch rim. It's a zero offset and the tire size is 35 inches. Um, it's a 20 by what? I'm not sure. 20 by 10, I think it is. Okay. And um, other than that, I mean, I love the fuels. I love the way they look. Um, a little more than the methods, but yeah, I like them. But eventually when I do the CST lift, I'm going to go on 37s. Ooh, are you going to join 37 gang? Yeah. Okay. Okay. No problem. No problem. But I got the Toyo RTs too, so. Those are nice. They just suck for the sand, but they are nice. <laughs> and the four-seater here uh, is almost done. We finished the majority of it, but still have to put in his bigger seat belts over here because these uh, are not doing too well for him, and he hates them. All right, guys. Now it's done flashing. It will tell you turn ignition off now. Turn ignition off now. Hit OK. Wait 10 seconds. Waiting, we had waiting, waiting. Oh, sorry about Boom, there you go, it is done and being programmed. Hey, it's nice for you to show up. We're almost done with everything, by the way. We don't really need you anymore, yeah. Might as well get the hell out of here. But that's it guys, it is done, programmed, just like that. Now we're going to install the switch. Dan has finally arrived, uh, better late than never, but you know, he's here. I wanna show you something. He's late, I'm okay, thank you. Just can you please get the car done, thank, thank you. Much appreciated. Doing a good job. There's that finger again. Hey, how we doing over here, we? Almost ready. Ready to go. You you look tired, cabrones. No, I'm good. You, I'm good. You sure you look tired? No, no, no. Is it too much? Mucho trabajo for you, eh? Or me another two, two of those. Two more? Yeah. Okay, that's it. Yeah. You good? Yeah. 
Yeah. You sure, güey? Yeah. Just bring me some uh, coronas, tecates. Okay. And... Sí, mo, serio, güey. No okay. Yeah. I'm sorry for the commercial, coronas, tecates, güey. Yeah. Okay, no problem. Big Lou, how you doing, man? Man, I'm just supervising all these projects. You Good. Know, make sure everything goes on time. Good. Because everything goes wrong, you know, it's on you. Yeah, or we can, you know. Rejuvenate ourselves. ourselves with alkylate. Okay, good, good. All right, look at Efren go. No way. What do you mean no way? It's no good. No bueno. Why no bueno? No, mira. You want me to help you? Si, sí, way. Okay, I'll help you. I got, I got it there, but I think I need to make it bigger. No, we'll just do a little notch. So guys, if you guys are wondering where I put these switches on the Dodge, I like to put them here. It is a little pain in the ass because you got to make them notch, but looks much cleaner and much more professional right there. But Efren's having a hard time. I help you, wait. Don't you worry, wait. Oh, I need to make a bigger hole right here. That's all. Okay, that's it? That's it. Okay, let's do it. We do it. That's how we're going to do it. Yeah, yeah. You want some light? No, I'm okay, wait. Okay, you got it, wait. I'm still good with the light. All right. And also, guys, if you're wondering why this is taking longer than usual, it's because this piece, right? Well, it's actually because of this piece right here. So they sent this customer a muffler, and he clearly does not want a muffler. And the problem we were having is, well, the customer did not want a muffler, so we were pretty much short. We had to make our uh, own exhaust, basically, with flanges. Uh, luckily, I had some extra pieces up here uh, that has flanges and some pieces right there, but we were only short about, well, that much. So what we had to do, this might be still a little hot. No, we're good. Okay. So what we had to do was make, this is what pretty much how short we were. So we had to make our own and flange both ends to connect under the truck. So we had to get a couple of exhausts, cut them, weld this piece on there. And well, now, uh, this is going to work. Didn't plan on this, but now uh, this will work out good. And if you're wondering why it's painted, I painted this so it does not rust because, well, as you guys know, bare metal, I had to scrape off to weld it. This will end up rusting uh, later on if you don't get it painted. All right, guys, switch is installed just like that. I like to put them right there and now you can change them right on the fly. Boom. Just like that. All right, guys, we're here with the owner of the truck, buddy Tim over here. Guys. And uh, well, uh, Tim, your truck is pretty much uh, ready to start. So you want to do the honors? Yes, sir. All right, get in. Key. Are the keys in it? Yeah, it's in the center console. Keys are in it, man. Awesome. Start it up. And uh, well, let's let's hope it starts up, guys. <laughs> so you guys have heard me tell you this before multiple times. These Dodges, man, when you start them. And you know, with the stuff that has fallen off of it, they sound amazing. Uh, you know, out of all the deleted trucks, I gotta give it to the Rams. They are the best sounding truck out of all of them. Sorry, I still love my GM, but these Rams sound great. It's just beautiful. Here it is, guys, with the truck warmed up. Oh, that smells good. There you have it guys, the truck is all done, the customer's happy, he's loving it. Now next project is, well, uh, we're train horn right here, here we go, the horn blasters. So on this customer's kit, uh, you saw on uh, the Chevy out there that we're going to do, we're going with the horn blaster kit. It is the, I believe the 544's part number. Yeah, 544K, and this comes with the Vier constant duty compressor, uh, the 44442 compressor. It is, it's a good compressor. As you know, when you guys do this, just make sure you get a constant duty if you want to use it for air. If you're using it strictly just for the horns, it's not that important. You don't have to worry about it. Uh, this kit came with the five gallon tank, came with the four horns right here. And it also comes with a little, uh, handy dandy airline here and it comes with a little uh, gauge in there and it comes with some crappy wiring that we're not gonna use I'll do my best for you guys to try to show you an install on this kit um, just because it's hard to kind of record and do this install because there's a lot of cutting and welding and stuff in that nature but 
I'll do my best to show you guys how I'm setting everything up, how I'm placing it, and I'll show you guys which wire I tap into to use the horn. A lot of you guys ask me, Eddie, I notice you don't use a switch. No, I hate using the switch. Uh, my train horns and all the ones I install are hooked up to the horn. So I put a toggle where when you flip the toggle back, it's your regular horn, and when you flip the toggle forward, it's your train horn. Um, also, I make it where you can flip the compressor on off, you can have control of that. So I will show you guys uh, which wire that is on the wiring diagram that I print up. But we're going to do that, start that uh, truck later. We are done for the night tonight. We're gonna relax, have a cigar, and that's it. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. Don't really click subscribe. Peace. Yeah.